The blade cabinet in the door department had doors that rubbed across the floor, making it difficult to open. Justin took a moment and cut just a bit off the bottom to fix what bugged everyone who needed to get into these cabinets. Peter had the idea of adding labels to the blade set boxes inside this same cabinet. Before, the operator had to pull the case out and look inside to identify the profile. By adding labels to the front and top, it was very easy to identify the needed blades instantly. Mulekai in panels had a door made in the wood chipper, making it much easier to clean out debris and keep the machine operating correctly. So much easier than removing multiple screws in order to take off the metal casing in order to obtain access to this same location. And Christopher in the office had the idea of standardizing the process of passing the customer's payment information onto the bookkeeping department. Before, it was common for misinformation or missing information to be passed on to the clerk, which then required them to hunt down the needed information after. By creating a standardized slip, they can be sure that no information is missing, and the information is easy to find because it is always in the same place due to a consistent format. I remember my grandma's favorite story was about how everything cost two cents when she was young. But now, everything constantly got more expensive. And it was all because of the government. These uneducated pigs didn't know how to control prices. And when I was privileged enough to hear the story, her complaining would last for hours and hours. And that's exactly what reactive people do. They always focus on the things that they cannot control. It's not possible that a concept like inflation would exist. And if it did, it's impossible that they wouldn't know about it. On the other hand, proactive people realize, look, even if my complaining were completely objective, it doesn't help me. So I'm going to focus on what I can control. If a proactive person owns a business where he sells a product, instead of focusing on how people these days don't appreciate good products anymore and how the government has horrible regulations, he focuses on how can I improve my product so my customers can't live without it? Do you realize how much responsibility, how much dedication, how much hard work comes along with asking that question? And what do you think our effort minimizing brain is going to pick as default? And that is exactly why most people focus on the things that they cannot control rather than focusing on the things that they can. Habit number one is be proactive.